All right, guys, today we are going to talk about one of the simplest yet most powerful hacks for managing diabetes that I have started telling my patients. And no, it is not cutting out bread forever or going full keto. It is actually this. Eat your protein before your carbs. Same food, different order. And your blood sugar can be 30 to 40% lower after meals. Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergen, endocrinologist in Port St. Lucie, Florida. In this video, I will break down the science behind meal sequencing, how protein and veggies first change the hormonal signaling, and a real story from my clinic where this worked without changing a single calorie. And we're going to do some functional medicine perspective on gastric emptying, incretence, and insulin sensitivity. How you can put this into practice as well is going to be the discussion. And where this fits with other tools like supplements like sugar MD glucion or super Burber. And by the end of this video, you will see why the order that you eat your food matters almost as much as the food itself. When most people talk about diabetes and diet, they focus on what to eat or how much carb, sugar, fat, calorie, but almost no one talks about the order that you eat your food. And here's the crazy part. The same exact meal, same calories, same carbs can have a completely different impact on your blush depending on whether you eat the protein and veggies first or the carbs first. That is what we call meal sequencing. So how does this work? The science is pretty straightforward, but powerful. Protein and fiber slow gastric empty. When you eat chicken or veggies first, your stomach empties more slowly. So carbs enter your bloodstream gradually instead of in one big flood. Hormonal signaling improves. Eating protein first triggers incretin hormones like GLP-1 and GIP, which boost insulin release and slow digestion, just like Ozempic and Monjaro does as a medication, but that can be done more naturally. Insulin efficiency goes up. By the time you eat carbs, your body is primed to handle them more effectively. Now, clinical trials show that this simple sequencing can lower post-meal blood sugar by 30 to 40 percent compared to eating carbs first. And you don't have to change the content of your diet at all. Now, one of my patients was frustrated. She was eating what looked like a balanced meal, like grilled chicken, salad, a small portion of rice, tiny bit. But every time she tested after meals, her blood sugar just shot up over 180. Now, instead of changing her diet, I told her, don't touch the rice until you finish the chicken and salad. The result? Her post-meal spike dropped by nearly 40 points. Same food, same calories, completely different response just by flipping the order. Now, what about functional medicine angle? Well, from that perspective, meal sequencing is fascinating because it works, right? Through multiple root level mechanisms. First of all, gut hormones, the incretin effect, we call it, right? By starting with protein, you naturally stimulate GLP-1. Again, the same pathway Ozempic and other GLP-1 drugs target. The gut-brain axis is important. Eating fiber and protein first tells your brain that you are full sooner, which reduces cravings and overeating. How about insulin time? It basically synchronizes the arrival of carbs with your body's best insulin response, reducing the spikes and crashes. It's not just about blood sugar. It is about rewiring your hormonal signal around the meals be able to come up with that insulin and take care of that meal. Now, how to do this? All right, let's talk about the reality here. Start with, for example, protein, chicken, fish, eggs, tofu, or meat. The second, eat your veggies and salad, because fiber also slows things down even more. And third, finish with your carbs, if you have to eat your carbs, which is rice, bread, pasta, potatoes, which I don't recommend, but if you have to, you're dying for it, you can have as a last a part of your meal. If you want to go one step further, you can even add vinegar water before the meal, which I talked about this in another video. So combine that with meal sequencing and the results are even better, along with the apple cider vinegar. And the best part, you don't have to cut out carbs completely. Just change the order, like I said. All right, what about real life? I know what you're thinking. Doc, this sounds great for sit-down meals, but what about real life? Well, here's a trick. Even with snacks, pair protein first. If you're having crackers, eat some cheese or nuts first. If you're eating fruit, pair it with yogurt, for example. It is about teaching your body 
to handle carbs with a buffer instead of sending them in unprotected. Let's address the skeptics. Some people say that is too simple. It cannot work. But this is backed by multiple clinical trials. One study in diabetes care found that eating protein and veggies before carbs reduced post-meal glucose by 29% and insulin by 49% compared to carbs first. Another study confirmed lower A1C over time when patients used sequencing consistently. So yeah, it is simple, but it's not a gimmick. It is science, buddy. Now, where supplements fit in here? Of course, meal sequencing is just one tool. Some of my patients pair it with supplements for even better results. That is where things like sugar MD glucion, sugar MD super berberine comes in, right? The berberine, the bitter melon, all of that combination, those compounds will improve the insulin sensitivity and reduce your post-meal spikes, working in synergy with the hacks like meal sequencing. I have seen the best results when patients combine simple food strategies like targeted supplementation and less chasing highs and lows or stable energy, better long-term control. And final thoughts. Here's the bottom line. The order you eat, your food matters. Eating protein and veggies first, then carbs, can dramatically reduce blood sugar spike, improve satiety, and support insulin function. It is simple, and it is free. And it is something that you can start at your very next meal. So no fancy diets, no restrictions, just sequence. So here's my challenge to you at your next meal. Give it a try to this. Eat your protein and veggies first, carbs last. And check your blood sugar. See the difference yourself. Have you ever tried this hack before? You want to tell me about this? Write in the comments. Did it make a difference in your blood sugar numbers? Well, again, drop your experiences in the comments below. And if you find this video helpful, or if you found it helpful, hit the like, subscribe, and share button. And the ring bell, right? So you can be notified. And this video will help someone, definitely, who struggles with blood sugar spike. Remember, sometimes it's not about eating less. It's about eating smarter. See you in the next video.